Praveen is saying, what is the best way to always remain in the state of consciousness during the busy worldly life? First, you should take up a good path, like the path of knowledge, you know, where this is the practice. Second, you should join a good guru who is teaching the path of knowledge, the guru whom you like, the guru whom you trust. And third, follow the instructions. Very easy. One, two, three. Get the path, get the guru, follow the instructions. That is the best way. If you want a two-minute trick, I don't have. If you want a mantra or some kind of magic, I don't have it. There is nothing wrong in staying in worldly life. What is wrong? Why do you want to be in state of consciousness, whatever that is, you know? Are you unconscious now? I am asking Praveen. Why do you want that? It looks like you are fully conscious now. Praveen is saying, I am conscious right now, but in the state of ignorance. So, your, your, your goal should be to end the ignorance. If you are already conscious, then this question that how to always remain in the state of consciousness, that desire is already fulfilled then. Now you are saying, I am in ignorance. Now your next desire is to end the ignorance. So, how will you end the ignorance? Same process. Get on the path of knowledge. Get the Guru. Follow the instructions. What is it that you don't know? I am asking Praveen, Praveen now, what is it that you don't know? What is your ignorance? Okay, Praveen is saying, despite knowing all the things, still I feel that the impact of true knowledge is very less. But I am not asking about impact of knowledge. I am asking that you said, I am in the state of ignorance. What is your ignorance? What do you want to know? It is not good to change the topic. Let us stay on the topic. The topic is that I am in the state of ignorance. You know, first you were unconscious now the consciousness has come now you are ignorant now you are jumping to the impact of true knowledge so where is this discussion going nowhere can we stay on one topic at least i can already see the problem <laughs> lack of attention okay praveen has the answer i mean to say that why the impact of satsang is not forever why i forget all the things and come again in the previous state of ignorance you mean you, uh, you already have the knowledge and the only problem is that you forget about it? There is no such thing as the impact of satsang. The satsang is not here to produce an impact on you or to make you remember something. The satsang is here to clear your doubts, to answer your questions. Now, it, does it mean that you already have uh, knowledge of some kind? Like you said, the previous state of ignorance. Which means, do you get knowledge here in the satsang? No, I answer questions from all the seekers, a very variety of questions. That is not called knowledge, this is Q&A. Knowledge is of three kinds, self-realization, realization that everything is an illusion. Third, realizing that everything is one. Do you need impact of satsang to remember it? So you have not answered my question so far. What knowledge you have and uh, what ignorance you have? Do you have all these three kinds of knowledge? That is the complete knowledge, isn't it? There is nothing else to know except these three things. And you can completely discard the knowledge of the illusion. Simply say it is an illusion, it's done. And you can discard the knowledge of the non-duality or oneness because it is that which it is. It is always one, whether you know it or not. You are that. It's hardly useful in daily life. Then remains the knowledge of the self, also called the self-awareness or awareness. How much time it takes for you to remember who you are? But first you should know who you are, isn't it? First you should know what is your essence. Has that happened already for Praveen? Okay, you are just an experiencer. You can write it down somewhere, you see. Write it down in the places where you usually look. You don't need satsang to remember this. And if your memory is so poor that you forget that who am I, then you know the, you don't need any technique. You simply need to... Keep it in the memory. There is no technique to become the experiencer. You are already it. Then how to remember it? Remember it just like you remember everything else. Like you remember your name. How do, how do you remember your name? Why don't you forget your name? Why don't you forget that you are a man, not a woman? And how much time it takes for you to remember that I am a man? There is just one thing to remember, isn't it? You can forget who, that you are a man and you can forget your name, no problem. But... Is it even possible to forget that I am the witness, I am the experiencer? Is it even possible? Because all these things you need to access your memory 
to remember. But to find out who you are, do you need to access the memory? Do you need to search in the memory? Where am I? No. You are here and now, witnessing, absolutely present. The brightest light there is, is you. Can you simply ignore it? Can you simply say, I cannot see who am I? So you see, you don't need anything. You simply need to be present. And if you forget who you are, that means, you know, there must be a lot of impurities. That means the knowledge has not really happened. It was heard from somewhere and then it was believed. This was said by this guru and that guru and it is written in this book. So I must be the experiencer. So you need to realize what you are. So I always give this example of touching the hot pan. If you touch the hot pan once, how much, ta- how much practice do you need to avoid touching it again? Once only. You realize this once only that it is hot and then you don't touch it. This is very easy. Actually, being in awareness is the easiest thing to do. And some people will say, no, there are thoughts going, coming and there are actions happening and the experiencer is lost in that. No, it is not lost. All thoughts, the actions, they are happening in this background of the experiencer. Some people say that I forget that there there is a background of experiencer. There is no need to remember it. You need to know there is a background of experiencer, that's all. And whatever happened, what happened in this background. It is so simple. What do people do? They sit in meditation for 10 hours per day with eyes closed so that they can know the, what they are. That is ignorance, isn't it? They don't have any guidance, they don't have any path. Simply doing it because somebody told them. So a video of that kind. So if you are the experiencer, then nothing can change it. Even the forgetting of it is not going to change it. So there is no need to do anything artificial to bring it. If you want to remember what I am all the time, something is wrong, isn't it? Be that which you are all the time because that is what you are. Cannot be anything else. Hopefully Praveen got the answer but I don't think it will help him. Because the problem is not that you forget. The problem is that the the experiencer was not understood clearly. The pan was not touched. The hot pan was not touched actually. Otherwise there is no need of any practice. Or you can take the reverse practice that whenever the ego comes up, the me and mine and this play starts, then you need to realize that this is not me. Simple. You don't know what is experiencer, but you know that all these activities of the ego are not me. And if the ego is operating in the world, no problem. That is what it does. No need to stop it to become the experiencer. It will never happen. You are already the experiencer. No matter of stopping, starting, remembering, forgetting will change what you are.